Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, guess what I'm going to do today? These are the controllers for the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro, and the Spark. I have no idea which one is which because they kind of look the same. But if you look at them up close, they're extremely different. Check this out. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's take a close look at all the features on these controllers. Now, the first feature that's pretty cool is the actual joysticks. If you look at the joystick on the Spark controller and the joystick on the Mavic Pro controller, they are identical. Now take a look at the joystick on the Mavic Air controller. It's a total redesign. It doesn't have the same sort of gimbal that the Spark and the Mavic Pro have. You'll notice that on all three controllers, the power button on off is in exactly the same spot, as well as the return to home button. It's in the exact same spot. Even the pause button has been left in the exact same spot. So this means that in future controllers, we're gonna see these buttons in the same location. Now have a look at the function button. It is in the same location on the Spark and the Mavic Air, but when you look at the function button on the Mavic Pro, it's not the same type of button. On the Mavic Pro, it's actually a five-way button. You can click down or move it up, down, left, or right. That means you can get five functions with that one single button. Now take a look at the sport mode. You'll see that on the Spark and the Mavic Air, the engage sport button is in the same location. However, on the Mavic Pro, it's on the side of the controller. Now taking a look at the front left-hand side of the controller, you have the start-stop video button and the gimbal control up-down button. You'll see that on the Spark, on the Mavic Air, and on the Mavic Pro, those buttons are located in the exact same location. And now taking a look at the left-hand side of the controller, we have the camera button and here the assignable function button. Those two buttons are identical on the Spark and the Mavic Air. However, on the Mavic Pro, it's very different. You have the camera button, but instead of an assignable function button, you have a dial that you can use to adjust the ISO or the shutter speed. Now taking a look at the bottom portion of all three controllers, you can see that the Spark and the Mavic Air do not have buttons on the bottom. However, the Mavic Pro has two assignable function buttons. Here we have the front portion of all three controllers. Notice the DJI logo is only on two of the controllers. The Spark controller does not have a logo. The Mavic Air controller has a logo and the Mavic Pro controller does have a logo. Here we have all three controllers lined up and you'll notice that only two of them have ports on the left-hand side. The Spark controller does not have a port. The Mavic Air controller does have a port and the Mavic Pro controller does have a port. And speaking of ports, how about in the center bottom of each controller? The Spark has a micro USB port, the Mavic Air has a standard USB port, and the Mavic Pro has a standard USB port. Here you see the forward design of all three controllers, the Spark, the Mavic Air, and the Mavic Pro. Have a look at the lower portion where the air vent is. You'll see that on the Spark and the Mavic Air, the grill in the front is just black plastic. But on the Mavic Pro, DJI has customized it with a tiny piece of thin silver metal. The best feature of the Mavic Air controller is that the joysticks are removable. We'll probably see this in all future controllers. And one of the great features on the Mavic Pro is obviously that your telemetry is transferred to a little display screen on the controller itself. This means that if you don't use your phone or a tablet, or your phone or tablet dies, you can still fly the drone and get all the telemetry indications of the flight. One thing that is interesting is that DJI has added a different sound to the startup function of the Spark controller compared to that of the Mavic Air or Mavic Pro. Now all of these controllers all have the exact same battery and battery capacity, so they should weigh pretty much the same, except for obviously the Mavic Pro has a little bit more electronics in it, so uh, let's check out what's going on with the weight. Starting with the Spark controller, let's see, how much does it weigh? 275 grams. Next we have the Mavic Air controller, and it weighs a little bit more, 278 grams. And finally we have the Mavic Pro controller, and it weighs 314 grams. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this close-up comparison of all three controllers. When you see these controllers from far away at first glance, they kind of look the same. And the features, well, you can't really tell what the different features are, but when you look at them close up and you compare features, well, then you see there are differences between all three controllers, which makes you wonder, 
What is DJI going to do with the next series of drones? We're expecting a Mavic Pro 2, next year will be the Mavic Air 2, and this year or next year will be the Spark 2. Are they going to use the same type of controller or are they going to change it to something else? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, well then please hit the subscribe button because I have great videos on a weekly basis. And this brings me to the end of the video. So I will say take care and I'll catch you in the next video.